Welcome back to the show. Well, when it comes to home renovations, I'm sure many of you have done some yourself over the last couple of years. Uh, there's just been a huge surge. And um, to, to find out more, too, about, you know, some of the latest trends and to talk about new home builds, I'm joined uh, from the Greater Ottawa Home Builders Association, Jason Burgraff. Jason, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Hi, Derek. Thanks so much for the opportunity to chat up today. Uh, Jason, just remind people at home what, what the association is for, what, what, what you do at the, at the Greater Home Builders Association. Sure. We represent uh, home builders, renovators, land developers, everyone who's involved in residential construction uh, and professional renovation here in Ottawa. Um, we really promote affordability, quality, and choice for consumers. Um, but I really like to... Uh, classify what we work at as uh, working for home owners who are, you know, 10, 20 years down the road, people who aren't even thinking about buying homes yet. Uh, you know, we've got a plan for them. We want to make sure everyone has a home moving forward. Uh, so we like to focus on uh, the future of home building. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Jason, because I think there's a lot of young people. You know, I have a 16 year old and a 21 year old, and I think they see it as almost an impossibility for them. You know, when they look into the future, I mean, they haven't even began a career yet and they're still, you know, they're already worrying about something like that. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about how the association can help with those sort of things, and especially when it comes to affordability. So what we really promote is making sure that there's enough supply uh, come down the pike, uh, that the housing policies at the municipal level, at the provincial level, at the federal level, all allow for enough home building to match like our growing population. Ottawa has 400,000 new people that are going to join the city in the next 25 years. Uh, and we want to make sure that there's enough homes for everyone. What has what the impact of, of the pandemic been on, on new home builds and, and renovations? Uh, for new home builds, it's been not so bad. I mean, the, the sales and building has remained steady. There's about a two-week pause uh, in activity as people kind of figured out what the health and safety rules would be. But after that, it was gangbusters again, as people have seen, a, you know, prices have continued to escalate and the supply is low. Uh, renovations was a bit harder because, of course, you're in somebody's home. You want to make sure that you're protecting them, that you're protecting yourself and your trades people that are coming into work. So it took a bit more adjustment. But uh, after a little bit, uh, people have kind of gotten back into it. And uh, renovations are going gangbusters again in Ottawa as well. So, uh, you know, Ottawa, I argue, is I got the hottest market in the country for housing activity overall. Well, and it's an exciting time for you as well, because the Housing Design Awards are going on right now and the public can actually vote. Tell me a little bit about those awards. So every year we do housing design awards for, uh, you know, construction and uh, architecture. Uh, and really, we have professional judges who do those categories, but we do like to involve the public. So we run a People's Choice Awards. So everyone gets a chance to look at our finalists and say, OK, of all the of all the custom homes, I like this one and this one. And then of all the bathroom designs, I like this one and this one. Uh, and then we do the absolute impossible in the last week of the People's Choice Awards and say, OK, uh, of all the favorite ones that people have voted on online, uh, what do you like the best? What's the what's the most the, you know the most impressive, most popular project in Ottawa? So people have to compare outdoor spaces to bathrooms to a home to a Reno edition, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So if anyone who wants to participate in that, they can go to gobavote.ca. That's G-O-H-B-A vote.ca, uh, and uh, take a look at pick out your favorite pro uh, projects uh, and. Uh, you be the judge. Jason, what are we seeing as far as the latest trends when it comes to homes and, and living spaces? I mean, it's not going to surprise anyone, Derek, that uh, with COVID, everyone being home, that improving your living space uh, between having home offices and having outdoor spaces uh, that you can use more uh, than, you know, three, get three seasons out of them or more if you can help it at all. Those have been the biggest, uh, most popular things. Uh, renovations for sure uh, on home offices. Everyone is looking, you know, to get that space. Uh, you know, we've had the longest trend for having big, wide, grand rooms and open spaces in our houses. And now we've come to, uh, you know, if everyone at, at the house uh, needs their own little space to work, that we need to segment off a bit more. So home offices have become very popular. Uh, lastly, you're going to be at the Ottawa Fall Home Show. What are you going to be doing there? So we're going to uh, be having a, we'll have a booth. We're going to be stocking it with renovators and general contractors. So it's a really kind of ask the expert opportunity. Uh, if you have questions about projects, you want to get some, uh, there's a picture of what the booth is going to look like. Um, 
you know, if you have questions, if you have, you're looking for ideas and inspiration and kind of want to walk, walk through your thoughts with somebody, they are going to be there to kind of chat through it. Um, it's going to be very good, uh, you know, get a chance to talk uh, with, uh, you know, talk out your ideas, but be prepared. You know, any renovation is going to be uh, a good year down the road if it's yeah. any bit big project because everyone is swamped right now. Yeah, and we just showed that uh, reno tour, that 2021 reno tour, and I was on the site last night. And uh, if anybody wants to see some of the most incredible renovations you're going to see, I suggest that they visit the website and have a look. Jason, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Derek. All right, take care. Uh, don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, we're going to be talking to, about seasonal affective disorder, also known as SAD, and some of the signs and symptoms you should be mindful about.